Yes, you are right. That is a walk talk. And that building over there is our resident here at the Mole National Park. These guys are perhaps taking some afternoon cruise here, which is okay. I mean, it's Kokwati. How do you say walk talk in your local language? I like to know. But today's story is not about walk talk. It's about the buffaloes and the hatter beast. <laughs> How's it going everyone? My name is Goshes. Good to see you back here on this video. Um, please do well to give this video a like and also share to inspire to bring in more customers to the Mole National Park. It is very, 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 very important to me. Yes, like I told you, there is a whole lot I need to share with you from the park. And this morning, we have a different agenda. When I got here, I, I got to understand that um, there are also um, the roan antelopes here. We have the buffaloes, the waterbuck, and then the heter beast over here. So today we want to go and see all of these animals together. But these are animals you cannot get them around here. I mean, they, they are in the park, but they are really, you may have to go, go deep, deep, deep down in there before you can come across them. So um, again, I am doing this with savior from the from flying flags and then uh, mr dan who has been our tour guide and ben he's the pro for the mole national park so um let, let's 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 get in there to see what what we can find so i get it you just have to move yes mm, you go it is now that I got to really understand that in this year 2024, make you no know, grief for any person. That 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 is the um, water bag over there. I mean, this animal is really, really, really curious. He has spotted us already, but he's not moving because he feels like this is his territory. If anyone should move, that should be us. So he's listening to the sound of the car. He's just watching us watch him and all that but he's not really moving yeah so in a subsequent video mr dan will be sharing with you a whole lot of um some of the characteristics of some of the animals in the park so that you get to understand and then learn a thing or two and also these are the hatterbees uh it was quite interesting when we came across them um, together with the elephant i actually couldn't spot the elephant from the very beginning and then later i found out that um, two giant elephants are also making a journey over there behind the the hatterbees yeah so you get to see all of this here at the mole national park <laughs> Then as we were driving, this guy came to cross us like that. Hey, just like that. <laughs> just like that. That is the Hattabees. Is it a Hattabees or... I think that is a Hattabees. Yes. So, I mean, this is their territory. So when you're driving around here, you have to be very, very, very careful. And that is the more reason why you cannot be allowed to drive in here with your own car. You have to be on a safari car. So that they can just um, regulate the speed and all that. You see, that just happened. <laughs> And you see, the interesting thing is when the animals see you, they start to run into the bush. They go further in. So 
The only person that could do the job and let us see it well is Famous the Drone. I mean, let's do this. <laughs> This is it. I mean, I am so privileged to have seen all these animals. I only get to see them on TV when I'm watching the Nagio documentaries and all that. I never knew we have some of these animals in our country, but they are all here. And you can also get the opportunity to see them uh, anytime that you want. All you need is to fly to the savannah region to maybe Damongo, Damongo, yeah, and then, um, or Tamale, and then, you can't fly to Damongo, but you can fly to Tamale, and then do a two-hour drive um, into the Mole National Park. It will not be bad if you visit here with family and friends and loved ones and all that. Yeah, so what has been so interesting to you about this video, have you been to the Mole National Park before? Let me know your experience. Where did you sleep? There are a variety of accommodation over here like the uh, Mole Motel and the Zena Lodge and all that. This lodge, I'm looking forward to coming back here very soon to come and really, really, really experience it. Maybe when I'm done with my bottleless Africa trip. Yeah, so um, I'm going to see you again very soon and bye. <music>